Amen. Thank you, Brother Yitana. May we ask everyone to please open your Bible in 2 Kings chapter 6. 2 Kings chapter 6. Let's all stand. Let us just read verse 1 to 7. Let's read together. Verse 1 to 7. Diyan <coughs> po kayo? Say amen. Okay, so verse 1, you're ready to go. And the sons of the prophet said unto Elisha, Behold now, the priest of the Israel leads me to straight grass. Let us go pray thee unto Jordan, and they get every man of thee, and let us make that place back there. But we be dwell, and the answer is go thee. And one said, Be content, I pray thee, and go to the servants. And the answer, I will go. So when I get there, then we came to Jordan, the Calvary of the Lutz. Thus one speak of him, the last came to the water, and he cried, and said, My last master, for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, Where do you live? And he showed him the wish. And he cut the his teeth, and cast him in the head, and the iron in his sleep. Therefore said he, Take it out of me, and do it out of his hand, and do it. May the Lord bless his word. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for thy words that we have read. We continue to depend on you, and we continue to ask and plead, O God, for your help, and that you bless our worship bless our study, that the Holy Spirit be the one to teach each and every one. Do you give us the heart that is willing to learn and absorb all the truths, all the lessons that can be profitable, O oh God, into our lives. Do you bless each and every one uh, here, as well as our brethren joining online. We bless you and we honor you, we worship you. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May we see that not of Thank you. You forgotten good works of Mordecai became a use. Bakit? The Lord reserved His word. The people or the king of Babylon unnoticed the work of Mordecai. Diba? Hindi na notice yun for, for how many years? But the Lord reserved it to be useful in time of need. At nagamit yun nung panahon ni Esther. Diba? Nasalba ang kanilang lahi sa isang batas na ipinasa para sila ay i-destroy. God knows when to expose your work. No? Gawin natin yan. Because the Lord did not miss or overlook any individual work. Because He sympathized. No? Not only that, but the divine sympathy does not hesitate to exert effort to alleviate what may seem the little sorrow of life. No? Sabi dito, Pa, ang divine sympathy daw ng Panginoon ay hindi nag-aalinlangan na, nag-aalinlangan na mag-exert ng effort para itaas to alleviate what may seem little so to encourage yung isang sa ibang tao walang kwenta among them sa mga, sa, sa mga prophets na yun, who sympathize the servant? Only Elisha. He is the head, he is the chief, he is the most influential among them, pero siya nag-sympathize. Eh. Yung mga kasamahan niya na nandoon sa nagtatrabaho, wala namang pakialam sa kanya. Sa kanya. But the, because God, no, because of the sympathy of God, no, hindi po siya nag-hesitate to exert no, through Elijah. So, wag natin isipin na, 
na hindi mag effort hindi mag magkakaroon ng provision o hindi tayo papansinin ng Panginoon sa ating mga struggles. Diba? Sa, sa ating mga uh, pinagdaraanan. So, it might appear a trifling matter to lose an iron head. Diba? Parang akala natin, parang walang kwenta lang. But to this poor prophet, it was a real and serious loss. Sa kanya, seryoso yun. Diba? It was not only that he was prevented taking his share in helping his fellow workers, but it was law, the loss of borrowed property which he had no possible means of replacing. Diba? Sa kanya, mabigat yun eh. Iniisip niya yun. Kaya minsan tayo, may mga ganyan din tayo uh, na na-encounter sa mga kasamahan natin, kaibigan natin. Kapag sila ay may pinagdaanan, no? the experience, so, wag mong iismulin. No? Wag mong iismulin. Dahil, this is to a cons- consensus mind, di ba? Would be torture enough and would exalt what might seem a small trouble into a great one. But with our God, these are no little things. What we regard as a little cares and sorrow of the poor may have a magnitude of God's eye as a great, no, as a great as the cares of empire and the afflictions of princes. No, the loss of the axe was to be was to the helpless borrower a calamity greater than would have been to Naaman the loss of the treasures that had brought to Damascus. Diba? Uh, i-compare natin yung treasure na dala ni Dabming Naaman kumpara doon sa Acts. No? Yung loss ni Naaman, if ever, binigay niya doon sa kay Gihazi. Malaking amount yun. Diba? But that loss from Naaman's side, no? malaking amount, Compare mo dito sa sa propeta, sa isa propeta na ito na ulo lang ng ng palakol ang nawala but you know mas greater loss po ng ng prophet ng prophet so let us reflect to that brethren that it shows that hindi po tayo dapat uh, maging uh, mapagmataas no para ipakita yung sympathy natin. Let us share the same sympathy how God look to every uh, burdens or struggles. Diba? But with our God, these are no little things. The sorrow was not too insignificant to involve the divine sympathy. Kung baga, yung maliit na sorrow hindi siya insignificant para magpakita ang Panginoon ng simpatya. Okay? Ano pa? The greatness of God appears in the minute uh, appears in a minute attention. No? The smallest trouble of humanity are not unnoticed. Diba? Kahit daw yung maliit na trouble na isang katauhan ay hindi masasabi mo, oh, hindi napansin ng Panginoon yun ah. Diba? It is not to like unnoticed. No? So, we can see that there is a helping hand of God. No? In this, the Lord sympathizes on a little sorrow parang sa atin, sinasabi natin, it might be a little sorrow. But, what's our, anong lesson, mga kapatid? There is nothing too insignificant for the divine notice. Wala pong insignificant para sa divine sympathy ng Panginoon. Okay? Yung iba nga, akala nila, malaking malaki na sila eh. Akala nila, I must be I must have. Diba? Entitled na si Philip, they have, 
They had the feeling of entitlement. Napapansin nila ko ng Panginoon. Di ba? Minsan, yun pa hindi ginagawa ng Panginoon. Okay? What may seem little sorrows to others are great enough to the sufferer. Ganda, di ba? Maaring sa sa uh, iba maliit, pero mabigat na yan doon sa nagdadala. Because uh, ang Panginoon kasi, hindi niya naman alam niya eh, kung ano yung capacity ng bawat isa. That's why, yung sinabi nga na there's no such temptation. Di ba? Meron ka ng verse eh, na common unto man. Na, alam mo yun, hindi mo pwede sabihin na ako lang ang may ganito. Ako lang ang nakakaranas nito. Okay? So, only Jesus Christ can, can claim na siya lang ang nakaranas ng ganong suffering. Walang pwedeng pumantay sa suffering ng Panginoon. Okay? We should carry every trouble, however, minute to God. Maaaring inisip natin, no, mabigat na, pero sa Panginoon, maliit lang. Di ba? Ang point dito, mga kapatid, no, even the heaviest sorrow we have sa Panginoon, magaan yan. Di ba? Basta nandyan yung kanyang ulong. No? But then, we cannot judge others' sorrow. No? Only God can determine, only God can help, only God's help. So, mga kapatid, let us learn the sympathy of God in sorrows. Okay? Kaya huwag nating uh, babaliwalain na ang Panginoon ay mayroong pagpapahalaga sa mga may sorrows. At tayo din, no? hindi po tayo pwedeng makaligtas dyan kahit anak pa ng Diyos. Sabi ng Panginoon sa mundo na to may sorrows. Di ba? So, and we can rely and depend to God. Whether it is great or small, nandyan ang ating Panginoon. So, yan po yung ating uh, pwedeng makita. No? That the Lord, the Lord's sympathy is interested in the temporal comfort of the good. The divine sympathy does not overlook the individual and the many. And the divine sympathy does not hesitate to exert effort no, that may seem little sorrow of life. So, may the Lord no, bless you and let you feel His sympathy in your sorrow. No? Alam nyo, Ma, the people may fail to let you feel their sympathy. But the truth is, God will not fail. God will not fail to exert effort for you. It is only the unthankful man won't notice the sympathizing the divine sympathy. Di ba? Hindi ang isang taong ang thankful lang ang hindi nakakaramdam nito. But if you are indeed sorrowful and you are if you appreciate God's sympathy pag bukas ang mata mo nakikita mo yung sympathy ng Panginoon no? ma-recognize mo ang Panginoon na siya ang tumulong. Eh, alam nyo, kapag katinulungan ka, kung matino ang ating kaisipan at nasa tama pa ang ating kaisipan, ang dapat mangyari, magpasalamat tayo. Di ba? Sabi ng Panginoon, in everything, give thanks. May exemption ba? Kapag sa soro, huwag ka maging thankful. In everything, hindi po in-exempt yung soro. Whether you eat or drink, do it for the glory of God. In suffering, for the glory of God. No? 
Kasi hindi ka naman bibigyan ng mga pagsubok at kahirapan na hindi measured. Di ba? Sinukat yan. Sinukat yan. Because in the first place, God sympathizes. Because He is the God of sympathy. Hindi po siya irresonable God. So brethren, in our daily afflictions, let us consider God. At you know, the significant of yung acts na lumutang, di ba? It lightened. No? Para mawala yung gravity niya. No? God show His divine sympathy and power no? so that it will give comfort to you. Yung mabigat at imposible gagawin ng Panginoon o ginagawa ng Panginoon. No? Nagahanap ka ba ba ng ganitong klaseng miracle para paniwalaan mo? You don't need to find like this. It is enough that it is recorded. It is enough that showing that God sympathizes. Ang, ang point nito, tingnan mo yung pagtubos ng Panginoon sa iyo. And that is a great unconditional sympathy of God. Diba? Yung ikaw ay tinubos niya sa iyong mga kasalanan at niligtas ka niya sa tiyak na kapahamakan. That is the gospel. The gospel, when, kapag naiintindihan mo yung gospel, hindi pa ba yan sapat na sympathy sa iyo? Na mahal ka ng Panginoon and He cares for you. Di ba? I hope the Lord bless us with, from these blessings. Thank you so much. Let's all stand and let's pray. Father God in heaven, we're so grateful for the lessons we have learned, O God, that you are the God who sympathizes even our little things. Thank you, Lord, that you are a great being who mind even the little things in us. Salamat po. Dahil hindi namin kailangan maging malaking tao at maging famous at maging valuable sa community para kami ay makakuha ng attention mula sa iyo. Because even those who have nothing and, not, and despise ay pinibigyan mo ng attention at pinagtutunan mo. We praise you, we worship you in this truth. Nawa Panginoon, may balik namin ang aming gratitude sa iyo through our sincere service, sincere worship, prayers, and devotion. May we give back you all the glory and praise. We thank you so much, O God. Please cleanse us from all our iniquities and allow us to have a sincere heart and pure mind na ikaw ang mag sa aming puso at kaisipan. Gabayan mo ang aming mga lakad, Panginoon. Maluwalhati ka sa buhay na ito. Salamat po. This means we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.